a book called Guantanamo Diary. He wrote it in 2005 in his segregation cell. The author is Muhammadu Al-Zlahi. This is the first account published uh, by a still current detainee. We're going to hear about the first memoir ever written by a man still imprisoned in Guantanamo. What followed was a harrowing journey through the American national security apparatus post 9-11, from Mauritania to Jordan to Bagram Air Force Base in Afghanistan, and finally to the U.S. prison site at Guantanamo Bay. I'm going to do everything I'm allowed to to break you. You'll never see your family again. My answer was always, do what you got to do. I have done nothing. Extreme isolation, sleep deprivation, subjecting him to cold temperatures, shackling him in stress positions. We don't like you to speak English. We want you to die slowly. He complained that his ribs were broken, and in fact, they were broken. He's been there since 2002, but never charged. No charges filed against him. The government has never charged him with any crime. There was absolutely no evidence that he had ever engaged in any uh, acts of hostility uh, towards the United States. He was cleared for release back in 2010. The U.S. judge ordered his release, but it is yet to happen. And despite Barack Obama's promises to close Guantanamo... Everybody makes mistakes. I believe the U.S. government owes it to the American people to tell them the truth about what is happening in Guantanamo. A government that preaches against dictatorship and fights for human rights and sends its children to die for that purpose. What a joke this government makes of its own people. What would the dead, average American think if he or she could see what his or her government is doing to someone who has done no crimes against anybody?